thank you very much for that rousing introduction. Um, let me start by saying that I feel fairly humbled to be here. I had to make sure that this was one event that I was not going to miss in the calendar. But sometimes you forget things, so I decided to write a fairly short speech. And normally I, I write and read about 5,000 words, but I think that this is half a size of, of A4. So if you will bear with me, I will try and read it. And Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, Nananum, Nime, Name, honored members of the 1985 year group who planned this for us, Mr. President, I thank you for the privilege of being volunteer to chair this. August function. Fellow beacons, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor for me to welcome you to this wonderful function. That will include a sumptuous meal, I hope, and that will also allow us to raise some funding to support our alma mater. These days I don't talk a lot. I prefer to write. Um, but let me say that in considering coming here to speak, I threatened my dear wife, who is not with me here today, that I was coming to speak in tree. And she cringed because she knew that my tree is conforidua tree, <laughs> which doesn't go too, too far. My task here is fairly simple, is to make sure that the function goes on well and the function ends well. So it's not that difficult. But I think I need to talk again about the fact that this was not the function that I expected because normally when we call our meetings, very few people attend. So I'm very proud and I feel very honored that I'm talking to more than 100 people, uh, 150 I think, and I hope that this will continue. I want to congratulate the team for putting this function on, and I hope that next year they will throw a challenge to the 86-year group so that they would also offer us um, a good function. I've said a lot about the school. It was a school that made me a man. I entered a boy, and I came out a man for all sorts of reasons. It was an enjoyable place to be in. And I just realized that it was 50 years ago that I left Ghana school. And I still look very young. I mean, I try to color my, my, my hair from time to time. But it was actually 50 years ago that I departed from the shores of that, that wonderful school. And I have very pleasant memories of the school that continue to stay with me. The alliances that I made, the friends that I had, the lifelong learning that has never stopped. And in our days, I know that things were free and the school was well resourced. The food was excellent. And I could hear us whenever we saw the truck coming, teacher. Teacher. Teacher need a big pump back. <laughs> Because the truck that brought us the palm fruit was called teacher. So when, when it comes and we all see teacher, we all start waving. 
that we will have some good abendment. Uh, there was plenty of yam to eat. I developed a taste for that. Having come from Accra, I was only fed on kinky. The libraries were very well stocked. And there were enough books to go around. The science lab was excellent. But you know, as the population of the country has grown, I'm sure that the population of the school has also grown. And therefore, there have been a lot of pre pressures on the resources that are available. So today, I think that I can ask that we think about how the school gets maintained and how we as proud students will endow the school. I hope that we'll be able to work out a system of financial support for the school, that we shall make a firm commitment to the school, and that would be our legacy. No amount of money is too small, but I think if we are able to approach raising funds for the school in a systematic way, would we'll continue to come every year and would we'll be able to send loads and loads of money to make sure that our school stays and stays well. Now, it's good when people give from their hearts. So today, I would employ you, uh, and I'll go on the fund, fundraising, that's when I'll speak my dream. Uh, I implore you that you give from your heart. Let me thank you all. And now, let me practice my new found confidence in the tree to Uboto. What does that mean? To Uboto. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you. Thank you.